Hundreds of people expected for a vigil in Bristol tonight. They are remembering that tragically short life of little Zania Calloway. News 8 Stephanie Simone found out today. Organizers are also trying to raise awareness. Stephanie is live in the New Haven newsroom. Stephanie. And Darren, folks in the west end of Bristol are really rallying around this family to help pay for funeral expenses for one-year-old Zania Calloway. They're meeting at the West End Cafe. A friend of the mother, Shakia Clay, says she was trying to give her baby the best life she could. She was getting clean, going to rehab four days a week while the grandmother was supposed to be watching the baby. She never thought Arthur Hapgood would be watching young Zania. He's accused of stabbing the baby to death Monday in this home on Park Street. Court papers said he told police he had taken several illegal drugs. Angel dust, dust, PCP. I mean, I asked one person, it's like an out of body experience. And um, they don't know. And it's sad because. Here it is, probably 48, 72 hours later, and now he realized what he did, you know? Police say the toxicology reports will be done in two to four weeks to find out exactly what was in his system. But tonight, the vigil will be at 7 o'clock. We spoke to the mayor about the drug problem in Bristol. His response coming up at 6. We are live in the newsroom. Stephanie Simone, News 8.